doing right now is this is a pen that was made for when the kids um, were little and we had like a little creep feeder set up with a couple dishes um, this one here was knocked down but anyway um so it's all this straw and with the urine and everything in here so cleaning that up and I'm gonna take this pen down because we're no longer feeding the kids grain they're just all out to pasture. Um, somewhere out in pasture today. Where you should be with your goats, Missy. You're disgusting. She was playing in the water earlier. But anyway, um, I don't want to lose these panels because it worked out perfect. So what I want to do is clean this edge here up so that all I have to do is um, put the panels up against the edge so that we don't use them for something else. Um, and we know that that's what, what they're for. <laughs> Hi, Delilah. That's what uh, we'll use for next year when we kid, because it really did work out perfect. We had two totes in here um, with the heat lamps, so the moms couldn't get in and knock the heat lamps down. Just the babies could when they needed to warm up. Uh, we kit it out in March, well, end of February, beginning of March, and this year it was freezing cold, so we definitely needed the heat lamps on them. And today is probably the hottest day of the year. I think it's 95, heat index of like 115. Perfect day to be doing this. <laughs> no, it's not, but... We were able to convince my mom to come over and watch Elden for a couple of hours. And this needed to be done, so I'm doing this. And Mark is weed whacking um, a fence line because he wants to move the cattle. That's Delilah. Again, she is a mess. She was <laughs> playing in water and then went rolling around. I'm going to continue to do this and we'll show you the end product. Yeah, that works. This was the pen before. This was connected here. So, the pen, it's not perfect in there, but to do for now what I plan on doing is just because sorry they were a the kids were able to fit through these um, on the panels these are just um, I think they're round pen panels and then there's a hole there I'm gonna take those panels there and put them up against these holes so we don't have any loose goats so that this one will go here like this. Smash my finger in the process. Okay. And then I will wire tie it to itself so that I can't put through. So I took the pen down or the panels down. And of course I have a helper. Um and I put the panels up so the kids cannot fit through those holes there. 
And can't fit here. And I covered this hole up with this piece of wood. Uh, we use this piece of wood for the gate over here because the kids were, I think, oh, they were able to come through here when they were really little. So we put that piece of wood on this side, the other side of the gate, so um, they couldn't make it through, but it was kind of a pain. So since they're bigger, I took it down and we'll just put it up next year. And then I put their feeders over there also, so we don't lose those. Um, all I have to really do is clean up the rest of this, which it shouldn't be, but maybe one, maybe two wheelbarrows full and I'll be able to move our hay and straw away from this area and put it back over there, which will be very nice to keep the barn a little cleaner. Hey girl, what are you doing? Eating bugs out of the stall? Poor stall. Poor stalls are 12 by 12. We had some uh, chicks hatch. They hatched them in the incubator. We had six eggs in there, but five hatched. Sixth one, I don't, I don't really know what happened. Um, it was fertile. It started to hatch. And they're all from our girls. They're Brahmas, full Brahmas, and then there's a, I don't know what the black one is. So we have one black bird. Well, it's not a black bird, but it's a black chicken. So we had her egg, and there's that little black one there. But anyway, there's five of them there. And this is their first time out. They are a week old today. They hatched last Saturday. So they're a week old today. We figured eh, we can go out for a little bit. They're in a nice shaded spot. And there's a nice breeze going too. I don't know if you can see that. One more thing before I go in. I'm gonna check and see if the horses need water. And the goats are up in the pasture right over there. So I'll walk over there and show you guys. So this is Bella. It's my friend's horse. She did not name him. The one the red one looking at us is Dharma. He was the one that was born on the farm. Hey Dharma. The reason they're separated is they, they just don't get along. Well, they do, but this mare here, Dharma, she kind of thinks she's alpha mare. And Pip kind of thinks she's alpha mare too sometimes. And Jack sometimes thinks he's a stud and not a gelding. So, yeah. All right, let's go check out the goats real quick. I don't really want to disturb them. Pasture, and they go all the way up to the barn. 
so they definitely can go to the bar. horses. They all have shade. Cows all have shade. Chickens have shade. On hot days like today, you want to make sure you don't stress them. Dharma here, doing nothing. It's sweating, I'm not sure if you can tell. Yeah, you can see that right there. She's the only one sweating though, so that's good. Jack's not. He's just shiny. You look a little chunky too, buddy. You're just dirty, aren't you? This fence is um, <coughs> hot, so they respect it because nobody likes to get shocked. Oh, fly masks. So they can see through these. Um, they're just there to protect their eyes from flies, hence fly mask. Um, it's like when we look through a screen window screen that's what they're pretty much looking through so they're not blind when they have these on they are uh, protecting them so. <laughs> goofballs all right let's check out Bella 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 I think he is 23 years old and she still rides them and his water situation looks awesome too. So that's everybody pretty much today. Uh, you got a pretty good tour of the farm. Time to get out of the sun. Get in the AC for the evening. Evening. I think it's only one o'clock for the afternoon until it's time to start chores.